back to the channel. We're doing uh, American Truck Simulator and uh, probably do a World of Trucks run. We uh, just finished the uh, Yellowstone run, which was pretty decent. Uh, we'll try to stick to a delivery this time with not much free roam since the whole last episode was nothing but free roam. Um, we'll try to make it... Uh, not a too too long of a video if we are able to keep it under an hour at least. I'd like it to be more along the line of 45 minutes to 50 minutes tops. But we'll see. A lot of times I end up doing something stupid in the game and we end up uh, looking at it being longer than it should be. But while waiting for the game to load, we'll uh, we'll see you uh, see what happens here. Yeah, in that last episode, uh, I turned the rain function off, but the rain function I did turn back on after the recording was done. I put myself back in uh, Riverton, Wyoming, so that's where we should uh, spawn or start the game. Alrighty, here we are. Let's check. Um, we don't want to do that. We want job market. We want external. So we're in Riverton. A lot of these are ridiculously far. Now a heavy bulldozer to... That's 726 miles. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's uh, keep our options open. I'd like something... This isn't bad. This is Burlington, Colorado. We got empty pallets we could bring to New Mexico. That is over a thousand miles, so that is a no-go. Yeah, I'd like a I'd like a a big super duper delivery, and I'm all for those. Let's do the wheel loader. That way I can run the beacon and uh, all of that. It's only twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, it's not much. But uh, let's go to Colorado Springs. We haven't been to Colorado Springs in some time. So, yeah, we'll begin that. What are they telling us? Heavy haul. Review your current truck configuration to make sure it's up to the best. I think we're good. I mean, it's a better truck than I had before. The, better than the Mac. See what time of the day we're at, too, because I hate, I hate to deliver this if it's in the middle of the night. I don't mind a little bit of night driving, but when it becomes all it is is night, that's when it gets to be a bit much. So we're doing a wheel loader Volvo L250H. I don't think we've done this one before and it's another Volvo one which is nice because I remember when they put that pack in there I said I'm definitely jumping on that just waiting for stuff to load it just seems like that's a reoccurring theme here Waiting for the map to load and civilization to come to. Hell, just picking a load takes four minutes. It's just ridiculous. Or picking up a delivery or whatever. I don't know. I call it delivery, call it a load. It's all the same. It's taking a little bit of time just to wake up here. All right, now she's awake. All right, where is the trailer?
No, it's only about a mile down the road. Not too bad. I'll take that any day. All right, where is the exit in this place? Oh, it's right there. At least I think that's where it's at. I don't know. Sometimes my perception of what things are is kind of skewed. So. This is about a 500 mile run, so it's we're looking at 45 minutes or so. Hopefully no more than that. Of course, it's going to take some time just to get the damn delivery. Yeah, it was kind of red when we came through it, so. That light. We're going to have some driving at night because it's 3, 3 p.m. in game. trailer's there, but the entrance apparently is all the way down here. Which is fine with me. I mean, we, we were all set up anyways with the uh, flags and all of that, so we're good to go. Hopefully the, uh, the truck is good enough to haul this stuff. They're kind of red flagged it a little bit your truck is up to the task and it's like yeah better be because we're picking it up yeah that's the little bugger right there all right let's put her in reverse Seems like to me this is an exit too, so I don't understand why they're pushing me to go back the other way, especially with this rig. Let's uh, get out of view here just for a second. Now this is the monster we're picking up. It's oversized for sure. Let's put the, uh, the beacon on so people know we mean business. And get back into cab mode. I didn't see anybody coming, so I'm assuming that's still the case. Let's hope it's an easy run. I'm hoping it is anyway. By picking this trailer, 
or this run, it's not going to be easy, I'll be honest with you right there, but um, if it's mostly highway, we should be okay. Where it gets sketchy is uh, as we're going through towns and stuff like that. And there's no way I do right turn on red with this rig, this, with this uh, particular trailer. This is so freaking long. So it's going to be in the middle of the night when this thing does decide to get delivered. This truck is definitely having to work with this particular uh, delivery here. It's all there, to say the least. If we get any hairy spots where we're going up the highway and the truck can't handle it, uh, we have our hazards, so we should be okay. Looks like a four way coming up here, but it's only two-way for us, I believe. All right, so 65, we're going to get it up to speed then. I hope you enjoyed that last episode. I kind of thought about it after. Some of the things I did in there was kind of lame. Uh, these are pictures and all that stuff. Um, but I really wanted to get in and check out Yellowstone. It was the last thing that we hadn't done yet in Wyoming as far as scenery goes. So we got that out of the way thankfully and uh, now we're turning and burning and doing deliveries or still ironically in Wyoming but uh, this one's going to Colorado so we'll do some Wyoming and then the rest will be Colorado which is uh, another state that we still have a lot of more exploration to do coming into a town so I'm going to assume we're going to have to slow down here yes we are that's the issue at hand is going through these towns because they're not going to be very uh, forgiving a couple of these um, Volvo ones but I don't think this one I've done yet does not look familiar I think we did like the uh, wheel loader thing and a couple others but anyway I digress so we're hauling some different stuff I was tempted to do a, a quick one with the, with the empty pallets or whatever but I was like yeah let's do something cool you know one of the big one of the big runs let's get our truck up to speed here or otherwise we're going to be at an hour and a half video as opposed to a 45 50 minute video If we end up getting to a point where there's a lot of rain or something and it's in the middle of the night, I will not hesitate to find a place to uh, rest so we can get back to daylight again. Because I can drive pretty decent at night, but if it's raining, and they're very realistic with this game, so if, if, if it's raining, 
yeah, we're we're gonna find a place to uh, forward the time back to daylight. Yeah, this truck is having a hard time pulling this thing. But what are you gonna do? I mean, your truck should be able to handle pretty much everything. If it can't, then it shouldn't be. You shouldn't have it. I actually put and added the uh, extra set of wheels on this truck. So the length was lengthened on it, chassis length. So it should be able to handle the extra weight of a whatever the hell that thing is, bucket loader. So it should be able to handle it. I mean, it kind of sucks because I got it to the floor and we're barely getting 50 miles an hour out of this thing. That's the problem with this thing. Once we do get it up to speed, and we have to slow down, it's going to take us so long to get back up to 60. And we're cruising right now, but it looks like up there we got a turtle up there in the horizon. Yeah, we're getting too, too fast. Well, too fast in the fact that we were catching up to somebody and we weren't even going the speed limit yet, which is just insane. Yeah, that viewpoint coming up, we've already checked that out, so there's no point in uh, doing all of that again. Not sure what episode it was, but we were... Got a lot of them to watch. Yeah, this, this uh, load, it takes a bit to get it up there, but once the speed is going, you're good to go. Yeah, we're, we're running into a city here, a little town, and we got to slow down a little bit. Which I have a feeling that's mostly what it's going to be. It's going to be rural route driving. Hopefully at some point we will switch over to a highway where we can just turn and burn and like, go crazy. Just get out and go. Well, we get to see some of the countryside. But I'm hoping like that transition, if there is a transition to the uh, interstate or what have you, will be when it's dark. It'll be easier to drive. As long as it's taken us to get the the truck up to speed, I guess we don't have to worry about speeding tickets on this side of the All right, so what are we doing here? We got to make a left up here at some point. Um, so we probably should get over this left lane anyway, because it's kind of what it was leading us to do anyhow. So.
technically we should be in the right lane. We're a truck going extremely slow, so that's where we're going to get going. of things. Yep. This truck's handling it pretty good. I knew it would, but it's just it's just gonna be one of those things when you're pulling a road a run like this. You have to be prepared to uh, wait a while to get the rig up to specs or, or speed. I try to stay within the lines here. Sometimes it's different difficult because I'm constantly uh, looking around at the scenery and also checking my speed and, uh, so it's easy to wander a little bit yeah now we're on the interstate that's a little bit better a lot easier to handle speed could be somewhat consistent, you know, I mean, in the towns, you're constantly having to slow down to, uh, to accommodate going through the towns and stuff. The interstate bypasses all that BS. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been to uh, Colorado Springs, so I don't remember uh, much about it, but I do know we've been there. A lot of pickups, a lot of deliveries. Colorado Springs was one of those places I do remember going to quite a bit. Like Ogden, Utah. We've been to Ogden, Utah, I don't know how many times. So if there's any uh, deliveries to Utah, uh, we're going to avoid Ogden for a bit. Because I really hate that turn coming out of there. One thing I'll say about this game, it's a very relaxing game to play for the most part. I mean, even, even at the times where it's a little stressful, at the end of the day, the stress is very quick and gone. And usually it's myself that's putting the stress on, on myself. But uh, it, it is very relaxing to watch and to, and to play. I don't see us getting up to 80 miles an hour. Of course, my luck, it's like every time I get the cruise control set, which I'd like to do, but it seems like every time I set that son of a gun, we are right back at uh, having to get ourselves out of it because of traffic reasons so I don't know we'll just continue to keep keep on keeping on 
let's uh, get the lights on. I think we got lights on now. Just glancing over at the fuel, looks like we're good there. Yeah, we got the pedal to the metal. Literally. The base on the wheel, uh, or the wheel. The pedal package is metal, so I'm not lying. Metal pedal and a metal base. Yeah, we got a bus coming up here. Those things are unpredictable. They really uh, do weird, weird stuff. I'm sure the car likes the fact that I'm taking two lanes, but I technically have a wide load, so I'm a little more... Um, forgiven in that regard because of that. It's one heck of a view. even the short runs now I was just thinking like my beginning of this video I was like I really wanted to get a short like a short uh, run at bare minimum the the runs that I can do now are 500 and that's a small run now early on when I first started playing this game and, and every almost every hour is documented on YouTube either YouTube or Twitch or well it's definitely on YouTube even when I was on Twitch I ported it over um, anyhow uh, those earlier beginning of the game most of those runs I think tops were 300 miles and we're at the point now where that's this beginning of the run for us and we've already done 200 so the bare minimum now is 500 roughly I mean in Euro truck even Euro truck now I think most of my runs are in that 500 mile range of course they're in kilometers so they're like 700 something but 
it, it, it just just shows to go or goes to show you that like you know the days of a 20 minute run those are over a long time ago same with euro I was able to do two runs a game you know one episode of 40 minutes I was able to do two runs now nope that ain't happening there we are just making sure I, I thought we had our lights on but just making sure because now the sun's really starting to go down and uh, you really really need to have those on but it's not so bad now because it's mostly interstate thankfully because earlier we were going through these towns and stuff and that was concerning and I was like yeah now if the rest of the run is on interstate that won't be so bad we'll make up for time I can imagine the mileage I'm getting on this pulling this type of a load I don't even know what the with this way station probably coming up because there's one on the left I'm sure there's one on the right not too down far down the line you would know how heavy this is I have the foggiest idea I'm looking at all the, the map and I see so many places we have not been. It's like makes me want to get out and just uh, do some more free roam, but you free roam, you're not making any money. We are, I'm definitely looking at doing a a long run, and what I mean by a long run, it would be something like maybe Colorado to California or something of that nature Wyoming to Oregon or something you know some long run it's like a thousand miles and that would be on a, on a record or a special recording I'm planning something in the future hopefully uh, everything works out in that regard we'll see soon enough but I'm, I'm going to try my damnedest to keep them under an hour if I'm able to. Unless there's some special thing going on. And like I've said before, if you're watching any of these videos and they end up longer than the time that you have allotted to, uh, to, to free time to watch, uh, don't hesitate to. As long as you're signed in, it'll remember where you left off. So that's the, one of the positives about this whole thing. There's a lot of content creators I watch. And then I'm like, well, I ain't got time to watch all of that. Well, I'll watch, I'll watch 45 minutes today, and tomorrow I'll watch the other half of it, or however it works. And the other thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, the other thing is, is to, oh, good. <coughs> Drinking and driving here. To drink is make sure that you put the notification bell you don't have to for everybody that you subscribe to but if you're really passionate about wanting to see that person's content when they they upload it you will get a notification shortly saying there's ATS episode whatever is about to about to upload or, or about, is about to premiere actually I set all my episodes up to premiere kind of it's like the old TV you know way back in the day your show would you'd have to wait back then to, to watch it 
unlike today where you got like Netflix and stuff like that, where you can just watch the whole season all at once, binge everything. I could technically put all of a lot of my content the minute I do it, but I like it. I think it's a better approach. It's not for everybody, obviously. But it works for me. And, you know, it gives somebody something to look forward to. Because the videos really don't do well premiere-wise, but they do better after the fact, after they've aired. And I think that is then maybe is because a lot of times people don't know how long the video is and they don't want to sign up for a premiere if it's going to be an hour and something wait for it to air and then they know how long it's going to be it, it could very well be but I don't worry about it I know at the end of the day there's going to be some times uh, there's going to be some hours on it and besides it's all for fun anyways I do this for fun this is very relaxing fun to do and I've always wanted to do something like this and I figured well why not I have a good enough PC to do it. Whoops, I'm wandering all over the freaking place. I think we're supposed to be in this. I didn't really, uh, I think we were fine in that one, but I just was not sure. lane I think something this slow should be in the farthest right lane anyhow but you know how it is put the high beams on since we're on the interstate anyhow yeah we're pretty close to uh, you know a little over 100 miles won't be long We'll keep it under that hour unless I get into a horrific crash and have to go get the truck fixed or something. We've had that happen in Colorado. So there's that. But we're not going to do that. We're going to try not to kill anything. Run into anything. That was what I wanted to say. I think it was Utah where I was going down the highway. That's why I always got a Think for the Utah, like I like wonder when I go there, if something's bad gonna happen. And Colorado's kind of that same ilk because uh, I I rolled the truck in Colorado. First got the DLC, I'm like excited, get to see Colorado, get to see the Rockies, see all this, and I'm driving like a crackhead and roll the truck. All that's on YouTube also, so if you want to see that, just look for the video. Well, it's in the. 45 minute video or hour video or however long that was but it's also on a short I edited it out so people could see that thing if they wanted to yeah I did move it over so we're already moved I don't know if we need to be any further over though that's the problem I think they got the heavy cargo in uh, Euro too, um, but I don't know how you deliver anything like that over there. The roads are so narrow. There's been a couple times where I got so frustrated driving in Euro, and I was like, how the hell does anybody do any deliveries over here? That's kind of why I, I stick with mostly American. I do Euro, I probably do one episode a week, maybe two tops. American, I make sure I at least get two episodes a week in. And then 
we got Forza, we have uh, all kinds of content. Different stuff. I got GTA, of course, which originally that was my focus, was originally a GTA channel. And we ended up pivoting to uh, a little more family friendly kind of content. We do have the GTA stuff still on here. But the truck simulation, I think, is uh, the future of the channel. That kind of simulation racing and stuff like that it's a lot more family friendlier although I'm a bit salty at times so the language will sometimes <laughs> be adult when playing this game but that's just the nature so that being said we're doing pretty good it looks like I probably should at least uh, pay attention I think we got to be in the right lane up here so we're going to be making a turn. Yeah, we are almost there. I don't know what kind of a ramp we're into, and I've got to slow down because I don't know what we're getting into. I don't want to wreck our shit here. Not too bad. Luckily it didn't rain, knock on wood, but um, if it did, I probably would have had to rest or something because it would have been hard to see. We, we've, we're in a town, so we're going to have to take that stupid uh, high beams off. Yeah, this truck will take a bit to uh, to get it up to speed for sure. And it's only 45 miles an hour through here, so it's. Uh, not that big of a deal if we're only going, or actually 55 now. Yeah, perhaps this truck was not configured right, but I don't know if that's the reason it takes forever. It could be just the fact that no matter if your truck is configured or not, it's just going to be slow as hell pulling some ass, big ass load like this. Yeah, and, and we're not we're not going to do the backing up of any of those kind of trucks. I'm going to do. I'm not skipping, but I'm not uh, not going to do backing up until I can get more acclimated to everything. Because that'll add ten minutes on this video sometimes, especially with this type of a trailer. They didn't cite us for that one. I'm surprised. Does that turn? That was turning uh, red as we're going under it. But I mean, I mean, come on! Look at the rig we got. You know. I think this really was a lot on this truck and it's uh, showing it <laughs> it's telling you that this hill is, is really a lot but we've, if it's only 30 miles we can do that
Come on, guys, let me get over to this lane because I gotta make a left turn. Pain in the ass. Now we're on level ground. It's a bit better. Yeah, with that visor on there, it's really difficult to see. Did all right on that one. A little bit over the yellow, but it's tough to pull something like that at that length and not have it go over the yellow a little bit. I guess we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, because... We can now see the uh, end of the delivery. Yeah, that was weird. That turn came up too quick. I had to whip that son of a bitch in there. The trailer's following us pretty decently, despite the janky move I had to do. Jeez, it's one hell of a turn I had to make. But I made it. I whipped that son of a bitch right in there. Not too bad. We're keeping it under an hour. So it's going to be about 50 minutes total. And there is a viewpoint on here to watch. So we've never done a delivery up here before. So. We are going to have to. Well. Check it out in the morning I guess. If there's a rest area, we'll do that, and then we'll wake him up, and we'll put that on the, uh, because I think there is, possibly. Yep, there's a rest area. So we're going to hit enter. Yeah, sometimes they don't give you the option of saying, where do you want it kind of thing. You know, where you can back it up. Because it's impossible to back something like this up. I don't think anybody can.
I wish it would stop doing that. Give me time to park the goddamn thing. Yeah, I think we're a little close to that truck, but I think we'll be alright. Really? Yeah, skip it. I don't have time to play like that. If it's not going to work, it's not going to work. All right. Nice. Continue. All right, I'm going to... Because... We're right here, and I'm not going to start the next episode off from that point, but I wanted to get over there to where the viewpoint is, if we can get there. I know it's extending the episode, but... If we can get to it. If we can't get to it, then obviously the hell with it. Yeah, we're going to go to the rest first. First. Oh man, it has to freaking rain, but at least it's daytime. And then we're going to get that waypoint, or viewpoint. Cripple Creek and Victor Goldmine. Nice. So at least it's daylight. That's why I fast forwarded that quickly. And then we'll conclude the video once this is all done. And you know the drill. If you like the content, like. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost anything. And, you know, hit the notification bell so you'll know when a video is premiering. So, that being said, thank you for watching, and as soon as this is over, we'll see you in the next one. running a little longer than I thought I would, but that's okay. We're still going to be under an hour. <laughs> I was hoping more for 45 minutes, but uh, well, yeah, whatever. It's all good. Oh, 
Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.